Hey everyone, today we're talking about installing a power inverter in your boat. We're going to talk about the different applications that you can use, how to factor the runtime between charges so that you'll know how long you could run your inverter, and the different applications that you want to run between charges, so basically the time that you might be out on the water where you don't have any utility power or shore power available. And we're also going to talk about spacing as far as setting up the inverter within the boat being able to maximize the amount of space that you have with the amount of batteries that you might need and different options as far as charging up the battery so that you'll be able to increase the runtime or set up the next runtime so that you'll have power for the next day. So the first thing that we're going to want to look at is to understand what exactly we want to run with the power inverter. We're going to calculate all those loads, get the total wattage, and then you can use our guide on powerinverters.com to understand how long you'll be able to get of uh, runtime based on the size of the batteries or the amount of amp hours you have within the battery bank. Now you could connect multiple batteries in parallel to increase the size of the battery bank so you'll have more amp hours which will allow you to run your appliances longer between charges without any solar panels connected or without any shore power available with a charger. We have an excellent power inverter option that has a built-in battery charger. It's a very simple setup. It's more of a easy install where you just have to plug the AC charger cord into any utility plug within the boat then it'll basically be fed through the grid of the boat so when you have shore power available and you connect your boat back to shore power it's going to charge up the batteries within the battery bank and be one and run through flow through power so the appliances will stay running off the shore power and then once you go out on the water the next day and you disconnect from shore power It'll go back to the battery bank and use up your battery bank throughout the day until you reconnect to the shore power. You can also connect solar panels with that same setup to increase the amount of time between charges. You'll charge up the batteries using solar, which will give you a little bit of a supplement towards your battery bank so that you'll have a little bit more power throughout the day. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact us through powerinverters.com or give us a call. Uh, we'd be happy to help you with your setup and uh, let us know how we can help. Thanks.